Ladies and gentlemen, L Brand stock has absolutely fallen through the floor here today. The stock has absolutely crashed down over 13% today, down over $4.24 a share. Absolutely horrible day. As you know, two weeks ago, I posted a video on this channel explaining why my wife and I sold out of our L Brand stake 100%. We went into all the details behind it uh, and why we decided to make that decision. I got some hate on that video. Some people saying, well, you just started buying those shares five, six months ago. You're supposed to be a long-term investor. Uh, why not hold those long term? Well, the bottom line is in the name of the game, whether you're value investing or any investing across the board, long term investing, the name of the game is to buy companies you feel are a good value, okay? And sell those companies when you feel they're no longer a good value. And it's, it doesn't matter if you're up on those shares, down on those shares, anything across the board. If you feel a company is not a good value, if you feel like things, the management team's not uh, you know, performing up to expectations, they're making bad decisions, the name of the game is sometimes you just got to get out of shares. And that's what I had to do with Elbert. And uh, after today, I'm very, very happy. So what I want to do is I want to go through some shocking information with you guys here today. I also want to uh, talk about, well, there's one really good piece of news that did come out on this quarterly earnings, okay? And I want to talk about whether I am planning on buying back my shares now that they have crashed, you know, much, much worse. They're at the, around a six-year low right now, the lowest the stock's been in six or seven years. Uh, I want to talk about if I'm going to buy my shares back or anything like that, or if I might short the shares. So let's get into this, guys. Let's, first, let's look at these numbers actually reported. So uh, L Brands apparently of Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Works on Wednesday lowered its profit outlook, which overshadowed the fact that they had beat numbers for this past quarter. The company said it now expects full year earnings per share of between $2.45 and $2.70, down from a previous forecast of $2.70 to $3 a share. That's the second time this year the company has lowered expectations, guys. The second time this year. For the third quarter, L Brand said it expects earnings per share of between zero cents, so break even, and Five cents. Analysts polled had expected around 16 cents of EPS. So that's the second time they, they've had to, you know, say we're going to make less money than we thought they, we were going to in the same exact year, guys. That's a really bad look when when you as management have to say, well, things are getting even worse than we expected. Oh, and things are getting even worse twice in a year. That's a really really bad thing, guys. Uh, let's look at the numbers actually reported for this past quarter. They weren't too bad. They they beat slightly. So earnings per share came in at 36 cents versus 34 cents was. Expected. Revenue was a very slight beat there. Came in at 2.98 billion versus 2.93 billion was expected. Uh, there's one piece of good news here, if, if there's a piece of any good news here. Even as L Brands is looking to turn around its Victoria's Secret lingerie brand, it has a new headache on its hands, its teen counterpart, Pink. The owner of Victoria's Secret, Pink, in Bath & Body Works, said Wednesday night is reducing its full year earnings, as we just talked about, due to weakness in the Pink brand, which was actually you know a brand that was doing decent for a little while there. Growth in sales at comparable stores for the teen focus label declined single digit to mid digits in the second quarter, company executives told on the earnings conference call. On Wednesday evening, the company announced the retirement of Pink CEO Denise Landman. Uh, Amy Hawk, who's a president for merchandising and product development at Bath and Body Works, will replace her on October 1st first there, okay? So real quick, just looking at it from the perspective of they need a lot of turnover in, in the Victoria's Secret side and pink brand, uh, in my opinion. They need a lot of uh, management changes there. A lot of, uh, you know, management just has not done a good job with those brands. They've just been declining, declining, and declining. And uh, you maybe need to shake things up. The, one, the only good thing about L Brands that's holding the whole company together, and from this being a $15 stock right now, is honestly the fact that Bath & Body Works numbers have been extremely strong. So they bring in one of the top executives of the Bath and Body Works side onto the pink, pink side, maybe they can help reinvigorate sales. But also, we got to keep in mind, even though these are two very women-focused businesses, right? Bath and Body Works and also, you know, Pink and Victoria's Secret. At the same time, we got to understand one sells soaps and lotions, the other one sells, you know, underwear and bras and, and some clothing items and things like that. So they're two very, very different businesses, although both are focused. So just because this lady's coming in to replace the old one who wasn't doing too good of a job, it doesn't mean that this is a fix for the company or something like that or you shouldn't look at it from the perspective of oh uh, you know this is this is magically going to change i have a lot of questions about lex wexner okay he's the one that founded this company built into a massive beast over the years uh did a phenomenal job with the business for such a long time He's uh, gonna be 81 years old here soon, and uh, I'm not sure he's really running this business very well anymore, okay? Uh, he's still the CEO of the overall company, chairman of the board, and I don't think he's doing a very good job at all, guys. Uh, let's just look at it from this perspective. This is shocking to me, okay? 
So if we look at dividends paid out in the past two quarters, along with what is expected to be paid out in this current quarter, they paid out 60 cents, 60 cents, and they're expected to pay out another 60 cents. That's a dollar and 80 of basically dividends paid out per share in the past, in the past two quarters plus this upcoming quarter, right? Now, if we look at what they had for earnings per share in the last two quarters, plus what they're expected to do this upcoming quarter, and by the way, I took the best case scenario. They said they're expected to do break even to five cents. So I went their best case scenario of making five cents, right? They did 17 cents, 36 cents, and five cents. That's 58 cents of earnings per share, okay? But they've paid out $1.80. So they've paid out over triple up in dividends of what this company has, has made in profits, basically. It's gonna be making in profits, all right? This is a really, really bad sign. You can say, well, maybe they're gonna have a huge Christmas quarter and that will help offset this. Maybe that is possible, but at the same time, this is just a bad look. You, you pay out 60 cents, you only made 17 cents of EPS, okay? You pay out 60 cents of EPS, uh, you only made 36 cents, okay? This means you're funding all of this, the, these payouts here with debt, and that's a really bad thing. When you're funding all this with debt, it's such a short-term focused thing, okay? And we see Lex Wexner, he's coming up at 81 years old. I'm not convinced he really has it anymore or maybe he doesn't really care about this business anymore and he's just like I just want to get all the money all the profits paid out to me in dividends for whatever reason uh, I have a lot of questions about this guy at this point in time you know uh, he's done a phenomenal job with the company in the past but he is he is refusing to to make the decisions that that need to propel the company forward okay Think about all this money paid out, right? They could be using all these profits to fundamentally change a business or buy other businesses that help the business expand over time, okay? They could be doing all that. Think about all the brands they, they've bought over time that they've helped you know, expand all around the world. They could be do, using that money for that, but instead they decide we're just, we, we don't know what to do with the money and, and we're just gonna pay it out in dividends. But the worst part is they've taken out debt really to end up paying this dividend, guys. They're not even making the EPS to pay, the, to pay out the dividends. This is the most, uh, this is the worst run management team in my personal opinion other than GoPro and Inc honestly it's just a disaster they own some great brands but just because you own great brands that have done well in the past does not mean you're gonna you're gonna make them great into the future because uh, if you're paying out all your money in dividends what do you have to left to re reinvest in the business guys this is a fundamental case on why I sold out. This is also a management team who, who tries to give an optimistic tone, but every single quarter, what do we see them? Missing numbers consistently, or what they end up having to do is take down the full year guidance, okay? So it's one of the, it's one of the other pretty much every quarter. Either they're missing numbers bad, or they're having to take down numbers for the, for the rest of the year. That's what happens every single quarter with this company, okay? So this is a management team totally focused on the short term. If this was a long-term focused management team, they would say, dude, our business is in trouble right now screw the dividends screw it we're not paying out any more dividends okay we're every bit of profit we're gonna we're gonna make on the office business we're gonna reinvest it back into the business okay so let's say they have a banner you know Christmas quarter and let's say that somehow full year they end up doing you know two dollars and forty cents or whatever of EPS or maybe two dollars and fifty cents of EPS okay great what they should be doing is they should be funneling every single penny of that money back into the business either to pay off debt or to buy other new businesses right or to just fundamentally change their business platforms in, in a big way, which they are refusing to do. But what are they deciding to do? They say, well, every bit of every penny that comes in through the door, we're going to end up paying out this year in dividends. It's such a, a, a poor management team there. So the question is, the stock has dropped big here. Um, it might continue to drop. It might drop to 25. We don't know where the stock is going in the short term. I'll never you know, pretend I know where a stock is going in the short term. I have no clue where that stock's going in the short term. But it could be a $25 stock here before you know it. So the question is, do, am I looking at L Brands as, as a position where I'm like, I want to get back in that one now that it's dropped even a ton more? The answer is no. I do not plan on jumping back in L Brands. I would have to see focus from the management team, the executive team, the board of directors to really want to you know, have this business be around in 10 or 20 years. I'm not even convinced this is a business that will be around in 10 or 20 years, strictly from the fact that management refuses to, to funnel money into reinvesting back in the business and just pays out in shareholders. Because think about it this way, the death of a retailer, what ends up happening is you get too loaded up on debt, which means you've got to make a ton of interest payments. And sometimes when times aren't as good, guess what? You have to take out more debt with higher interest rates you have to end up paying on that money and then guess what ends up happening even though maybe you're making profits on the business more than that's all going out to pay off the debt and the interest rates on the debt okay 
So what I see is this being a potential to happen with L Brands unless they fundamentally change their thinking, unless they cut this dividend, they say, dude, we're, we're gonna invest everything back in this business. We're in trouble right now. The fact is L Brands management team and board of directors doesn't realize they're in trouble right now, okay? The facts behind this company say this company is in trouble right now. Everything is on the decline for this company except Bath & Body Works at London's again. That's the only thing holding the stock right now at its level. It, this would be a $15 stock or $10 stock if it wasn't for Bath and Body Works. Management team is delusional here. Until they focus, until they focus and, and say, dude, we're in, we're in trouble here. We need to get back focused on the business. Screw paying out dividends. Until I see that from the business, I don't care. I don't care how great these brands are. I don't care how great this company was historically run. Until they make the decisions, the hard decisions to focus on long-term versus focusing on short-term, this is not a stock I will own. It's a stock I continue to track. I track it on Stock Tracker. I look at its stock price, you know, every other day, pretty much, and I'll continue to keep up to date with this business. And I might buy back shares someday. But until I see a real focus from the management team on, dude, we're, we're in trouble. We need to focus this business for the long term. We need to make sure this company's here for two decades in the future, three decades. Until we see that from this company, it's not a stock I will own, regardless of what the PE goes down to. Uh, and, and keep in mind, right, right, you can look at this stock and say, whoa, it's a really low PE. Well. Remember, two times just this year, they've already taken down their EPS estimates, which means you might have thought you were getting a stock at a 10 PE, but maybe you were getting a stock at a 12 PE, and maybe next year they only make $2 a share, and maybe in the following year, $1.50, and then all of a sudden it looks like, well, this company's getting worse and worse. We're gonna have to see where the company goes over time, but I'm just telling you, a company that's focused on short term like this company is, it generally does not end well when you look at it from, from, from a five to 10 year perspective. So uh, I'm happy I got out of this stock. I have no plans to get back in. Um, unless, of course, I really saw a fundamental change in the management team, which we haven't seen any fundamental change in the management team as of right now. So that's where I'm at with that one, guys. Let me know what your opinion is down there in that comment section, whether you're bullish, bearish on the stock, um, or if there's any stocks out there, you guys are making moves with any stocks you're out there buying or selling. Um, let me know also, you know, what do you think about this management team? Like, like, I would love to hear your guys' opinion down there in that comment section. As always, if you love keeping up with stock market news, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I always post a ton of stock market news. I'm paying attention to and whatnot in my Instagram stories. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.